Here's the BB cool gun I built. It has a separate power supply with meter and a head so it'd be easier to load and shoot without having to lug this thing around. You got your uh, meter here, like I said, it's an analog 500 volt meter. Um, has very little charge on it now. Um, cable, your 120 comes in. There's your switch. These cables here have uh, uh, all the output, the 500 volts, and the triggering 1.5 volts. It's for the SCR. Uh, goes into this box, real light, real small, easy to hold. Um, there's your barrel. We'll show that more in a minute. These are cooling holes. They're not beautiful, but I'm going to put a screen over this so you won't see that anyways. I'll probably just cut this out. Those cooling holes are for the resistors on the inside underneath it. I'll show you why. The 120 comes in. The switch turns it on. Next thing it goes to is right in here. And uh, this is your 120, uh, 120 volt uh, halogen light dimmer. And uh, after it comes out of here, it goes to your resistors. And this lowers the voltage. This lowers the current. And it goes to this transformer, which is a uh, 500 volt output, uh, 120 volt input uh, uh, transformer. After that, it goes to these uh, uh, capacitors here, which is a uh, uh, total about 950 volts and uh, 510 microfarads. There's two ran in series and in parallel, but together they add up to that. Over here, you have a power supply. Down there is a 12.6 volt, 300 milliamp transformer. Uh, there's two regulators, one on the side, one up here, and one on the side is 1.5 volts. It goes to my SCR trigger. This one up here is, I don't, I don't know, I use that. I haven't even tested it. It's just for the LED. It's just enough to light up that little light. Um, there's my SCR itself. That is uh, your triggering that allows the uh, negative uh, to connect to my coil. The high voltage positive is already connected to the coil. The negative from here goes out and goes to the other side of the coil, and when you hit this trigger, the 1.5 volts is connected to the SCR and it turns it on and releases all the voltage that was charged in your capacitors into your coil, which is over here. Um, we'll open it real quick. You have your diode. This is for reverse polarity protection. I used a big pin, just a big pin, and I wrapped a coil around, wrapped a pretty good coil around it. Um, then you have your switch right there, so it's pretty simple. There's, you know, there's really nothing in here. You got four wires that come into it. And uh, that's it. So it's it's real easy to uh, hold. I also put. Let me show you real quick. At the very back of this coil, there's a magnet. At the very back of the coil, there's a magnet back here, and that actually holds the BB in whenever you load the BB. So uh, what I'll do is I'll put it together real quick, and then I'll uh, show you. Uh, we'll take a couple shots. We'll charge it up, and uh, that'll be it. All right. Let's turn it on real quick. Watch it charge a little bit. There's 100 volts, obviously 200. It's pretty quick. It's not too bad. It'll slow down towards the top. Like I said, uh, this control that I left deep down in there, so I wouldn't accidentally knock it. You can stick a screwdriver down in there, and you can adjust it and bring it up higher, or lower. But I like it where it is because as soon as it gets a little past 400, it's it's safe to go ahead and shoot. But if you leave it, it'll get a little past the 500, and uh, it's fine. I like said we'll grab a. A BB here and I'll show you here's the BB if we uh, put it in here and we let it roll back it stays in there see it stays in there now I have to tap it and it'll fall out and try to roll off so I'll grab another one <laughs> well actually let's shoot it dry so you can listen to it let's see we're uh, almost at 500 see if you can hear this it's pretty loud huh <laughs> That's not too bad. And it recharges quicker and quicker each time you fire it. It charges pretty slow the first time. We'll go ahead and load this BB, have it ready. And like I see, it's pretty neat. It, that magnet works pretty good. It makes it where you can do a little better aiming and not worry about it uh, falling out of there. Let's see. Yeah, we'll get it up there. Come on, hurry up. Each mark there is 20 volts. It may look slow, but that's still not too bad. Right. That's close enough to 500. I don't think you're going to notice the difference. Let's take a shot right here at this wood. Let's see where it is. There it is. Ready? It's not too bad. That was pretty loud. That was a pretty good little hit. 
and uh, like I said, it's recharging and already back up. If, if you use those uh, resistors like I showed you, it's going to leave the current low enough so when you hit the trigger here, um, it's it's able to, the, the transformer doesn't try to keep charging the coil. It's able to uh, have such a low current on the input side. Those go to the input, the 120 side. Um, that the, uh, it, it, look, it drops down. It, it goes to zero. It can't even bring the voltage up the longer I hold that. As soon as you let go, it starts to charge again. It sets a low, low current on the input that the transformer can't overcome the uh, the, the short circuit, basically, inside the coil that you're, you're making. And the, it charges pretty quick, 400 volts. Pretty good click. That's about it. Uh, it's pretty nice. My coil gun, BB gun, works, uh, works pretty good. Thank you.